On December the 12th, ISIS conducted a surprise attack on the Syrian Arab Army, SAA, on the western bank of the Euphrates in the province of Deir Azor. According to reports, members of ISIS entered the villages of Al Jala, Sayal, Salihia, Mujada, Abbas, and Al Haza. Clashes in the area continued on December the 13th. According to pro-government sources, ISIS wasn't able to develop their initial success and will be forced to withdraw from the area soon. This was the second major ISIS attack on the SAA since the start of the week. On December the 11th, ISIS attacked SAA positions near al bukamal On December the 12th, the Kurdish-dominated Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, advanced along the eastern bank of the Euphrates and captured Haraj and Al-Baran. Thus, the US-backed force used the ISIS attacks on the SAA to further their own progress. The SAA and the National Defense Forces, NDF, led by the 4th Armored Division, liberated the town of Sahara and the nearby height from Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly Chapat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, and deployed within striking distance of the important village of Abu Dali. Despite the recently declared partial withdrawal of Russian forces, pro-militant sources continue accusing Russian warplanes of airstrikes on its targets. On December the 12th, a White House National Security Council spokesperson said that the U.S. administration thinks the Russian declarations of ISIS defeat are premature. We have repeatedly seen in recent history that a premature declaration of victory was followed by a failure to consolidate military gains, stabilize the situation, and create the conditions that prevent terrorists from re-emerging, Reuters quoted the statement. However, on the same day, U.S. President Donald Trump said that the U.S. has won against ISIS in Syria and Iraq. We've won in Syria, we've won in Iraq, but they spread to other areas and we're getting them as fast as they spread, Trump said on Tuesday at the White House during a ceremony to sign defense policy legislation. It would seem advisable for the U.S. President to improve his coordination with his spokespersons regarding their statements.